Hello guys, this is Adam and this is Unreal Engine 5 that we are testing right now on the base model for the Mac Studio. So what we are working with on the Mac Studio is 32 gigabyte of RAM, 24 core GPU with 10 core CPU and that would be the M1 Max. And this is the base model with 512 gigabyte, which I do not recommend at all. I recommend a minimum of one terabyte. You are spending money on the machine, you might as well get one terabyte at least of storage what we are looking at here is the gpu as you can see is fully maxed out being used here we have the cpu and then here we have another chart for the cpu as well here which you cannot see it for the most part is the ram and we are right now from the memory usage we are using a 12 gigabyte just the version that we are using we are using unreal engine 5 early access 2 and this is the high sci-fi project and we are averaging 140 frames to 150. Right now we are averaging in the 100s. And if we're looking here, we're averaging 130. Now I have uncapped the frame rate. So if we can go to edit and then project settings, and then we will just do frame. I have set the frame rate to 999 just so we can have it uncapped and therefore we are getting the real frame rate which is we are averaging around 140, 150, sometimes it touches 160. Let's go ahead in this area and see we're still averaging 100s here now 120 so basically you are getting above 60 frames comfortably no issues at all i wonder if we can go here i guess not but it's really it looks really nice so basically here we're getting 150 now this is the early access to I'm going to close that. So with the early access, what we did average was around 120 frames. It can go up to the 160s, but it was in the realm of 100 to 160 for the sci-fi project. So you can compare that to what you have. And we were averaging uh, the usage of the memory 12 gigabyte and the GPU was being used completely, but the CPU not as much. Now what we will do, run a preview to, and then what we will do, we will go ahead and open the high sci-fi project again we will see the difference between the early access and the preview 2 now one thing you will notice let's go ahead and show fps we are getting way less fps with the preview two so with the preview two we are averaging right now 47 frames and the gpu so this was the downtime but now the gpu is being used again it's being used to the highest and the cpu it's kind of chilling so let's go ahead and then move as you can see the colors looks way better and can you see the reflections did you guess what i am getting at here can you see that i wish you can see the reflections and you can see everything that i that i am looking at and we are averaging right now 60 frames when we get here do you see what i am seeing right here Let me record the screen so you can see what I am seeing a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick time. So right now you are looking at the screen recorded and I am going to open Unreal Engine and then what I am going to do, I'm going to hit a play. Now, what we are getting here is 60 frames. As you can see, we are down to 40 frames. But if you can see the colors, they are insane and beautiful can you see the reflections can you see everything working can you see all that shine can you guess what's going on yes ladies and gentlemen ray tracing working at full freaking capacity and it looks gorgeous <laughs> and right now i am recording the screen and we are getting 
57 frames. Um, however, of course, if I end the recording, we will be averaging the 60s. So I did end the recording right now and we will go back to using everything and then now we are averaging 60 frames and again the frames are actually uncapped so if we go to the project settings and then do frame the frame rate is 999 which means it's in cap and as you can see the C the gpu is being used 100 percent while the cpu not as much and we are averaging 60 frames here so when you turn ray tracing for the project you get a hit of 50 percent where now it will be really interesting to do the same the same test on the M1 Max fully spec'd out, which I do have on the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which I will do in a future video. But as you can see, the ray tracing is working beautifully. So the bottom line here, if you want ray tracing and you want to work with ray tracing, the preview two works better than early access in that regard. Now, if you want to work with the project without any issues and just work with the project normally, you can do um, early access and you don't have to turn um, ray tracing with that project and you will get more frame rate. So there is that, there is this, both futures are available on both, but they work better on the preview too if you want for example to do ray tracing as i am doing right here and when we run the project we are averaging in the 60 uh, frames per second so that's your average if you look at the graph here for the gpu it's being used completely but again the cpu is not as much this whole time i kept an eye on the memory usage and we are using 18 gigabyte of uh, ram and keep in mind that ram is being shared between the gpu and then the ram as well because you have one SOS where the gpu its memory or virtual memory or vram from the ram of the device or the m1 chip and that's why we are averaging 18 gigabytes and instead of what we were averaging with the previous project before turning this beautiful ray tracing and having all the lights and the flashes and the reflections this is this is beautiful this is very attractive and whatever device you have you can turn on ray tracing and turn off ray tracing and compare the numbers and then see the averages that you are using keep in mind with the memory the ram we are using 18 gigabytes the gpu is being completely used and the cpu is not being used as much like the video all of that and keep in mind we will be testing all of these if there is any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below but that's the general digest between the early access and then the preview unreal engine five thank you so much and this was adam from the adam lab and bye bye